What's going on, everybody? Hoping everybody's having a good day today. Jerry Mark hiking here. And with trout season coming up, I'm going to show you a simple, efficient way to reduce line twists and, and tension fishing that current when you're hooking into some good fish. Now, what I've got here is a 1 fourth ounce spoon in the brown trout pattern. Okay. What you're going to need is um, whatever desired treble hook you want to put on the back of that. Fit the hook with the, with the spoon. So with the one fourth ounce, you know, you might want to go with a two aught treble. Then you need, will need a barrel swivel. And this is not the snap kind. I, I prefer these over the snap kind just because it gives it's more sustainable in strength. Then you're going to need some of these little guys right here. Split rings. Um, I prefer the four for a one fourth ounce in the size four o-ring. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to top to bottom on that spoon and you're going to attach the o-ring right right there in the designated area then once you've got your tr hook chosen get you get you some pliers because it makes it a world of difference easier just kind of clamp down on that o-ring just like that Get your desired hook, you know, as long as it's not oversized. Then what you're going to do is simply attach that just like you would with any other bait. It could be a little frustrating at first, but once you get the hang of it, it, it it's a breeze. So what you're going to do is just keep turning it on there, yeah, just as simple as that. And now you got the finished, well... You, then you got the more efficiently rigged. So, like right there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the second O-ring. And then you're going to go to the top of the bait. Find the uh, designated area to, put, to attach that O-ring. This is a lot harder than it looks to go through that designated area right there. It's it's a little bit thick, but if you keep working at it, you will succeed at it. And voila, just like that. Come around with it. Boom. Now if it bends, what you want to do is clamp it back together. If it does get a little bit out of shape. So now it's going to look like this. Okay. Then to reduce the line twist, you know, you're going to come back up here to this O-ring at the top. <clears throat> then you're going to attach the barrel swivel. Just like that. I mean, it's, it's a real simple... Thing to do for your spoons but let me tell you from experience this is the most accessibly efficient way to rig your spoon so when you're fishing that current 
you know he's not going the he's not going to get leverage within that current and twist your line off and when you reel it back in you know you're not going to have to deal with unhooking the fish and then once you get him released then go there and untangle your rod tip and and all all right guys so i hope that little simple video would be of some help to you guys when you want to get out there and start fishing that current to bag those big brown trout big rainbow trouts or whatever trout you got in the stream if you ain't already go ahead and like subscribe turn them notifications on and we got more, I've got more action on the way. Jerry, more kayaking out.